All right guys, so today I will show you how to create this cool logo animation inside of After Effects. So I have my After Effects screen open here. Let's take a new composition. The composition size is of 1920 by 1080. Frame rate is 60 FPS and let's change the duration to around 7 seconds. I have changed the composition name to final. Press OK. Now that we have a new composition, let's import the footages here. First step is to import the background image. Drag and drop it to your composition. Next step is to add the logo here. Make sure you uncheck the PNG sequence option here. Alright, so the logo is imported in the composition. Let's adjust the size of the logo and also check that if it's in the center of the composition or not. Now by using the shortcut Ctrl Shift C, let's pre-comb this logo image. Go to Effects, Simulation, CC Ball Action. Take your timeline marker to 2 second mark and add a keyframe to scatter and twist angle. Move to 0 second mark and adjust the twist angle to minus 1 and scatter value to 170. Next, change the twist property to radius and rotation axis to Z axis. Next, let's animate the grid spacing property as well. Select all the keyframes and add easy ease to it. Move on to the graph editor and let's adjust the graph to ease out at the end part. Hmm, the animation for the grid spacing part doesn't really look that cool. Let's adjust the graph a little bit further and see how it looks. Let's try something else. Delete these keys for the grid spacing part. This time let's add two keyframes in the grid spacing but much closer to the two second mark. In the graph editor, reduce the value for the ease out for both squatter and twist angle. This definitely looks much better now. In the next step, add CC Force Motion Blur to it. Increase the motion blur samples from 8 to 15. The logo looks very still at the end. So for this situation, we will add a scale effect to this logo from start to end. For this, add two keyframes in the scale parameter, increasing its value from around 150% to 100% at the end. Now we have to add a transition from this logo to the original logo without any dots. For this we will play around with the opacity parameter. Press Ctrl D to duplicate the composition. In the bottom composition, delete both the effects. In the next part, we will add keys in the opacity parameter for both the compositions. The top one from 100 to 0 and then the bottom one from 0 to 100.
we compose both the compositions and name the new composition as base. Let's end this animation by adding light sweep effect to it. Duplicate the composition. Add CC light sweep. Now adjust the values for the width, sweep intensity, edge thickness and change the light reception from add to cutout. Add two keyframes and animate the center of the light sweep from left to right. Add easy ease to it and adjust the graph editor to ease out at the end. And just like that we have this cool logo animation in After Effects. Now make sure you press that subscribe button if you really enjoy this logo animation tutorial. Till then, see you in the next video.